Rockingham County could soon be home to a casino and not everyone in the area feels it is a good bet to make. Good evening and welcome. I'm Katie Nordine. And I'm Neil McNeil. The county, as many of you know, is home to Republican State Senate leader Phil Berger, who's among those pushing to expand legalized gambling in North Carolina. And things are looking more possible that it could be in his backyard. A developer is asked to rezone more than 200 acres of land from residential agricultural to commercial. Now today, Fox 8's Elijah Skipper spoke with those bordering the proposed casino site who aren't as excited about this news. I know things have to change, but I just can't imagine this changing. What sits along Highway 220 in Rockingham County is 200 acres of rolling hills, cow pastures, and now a public notice sign signaling what soon could be the triad's first casino. It was sort of just a, um, a rumor, and now it's sort of been confirmed that that's sort of the plan. Bordering the potential site, Camp Carefree. The camp has long been a popular summertime destination for thousands of children with chronic illnesses and disabilities. But the potential casino could soon change that. I don't think I'd want my child to come to a camp that has, has a casino right nearby, you know, or bars or that kind of stuff. I mean, it's just very, I think parents feel very safe with their kids here. You know, it's a, it's, it's a very safe place. There's, you know, all farmland. The site's potential developer is hoping to rezone the land from residential agricultural to commercial. Its application doesn't specify its plans for the site just yet, but the applicant involved is tied to casino development. I can't imagine it being like this. I just, I mean, I don't know if it'd be something you'd be able to see, but I don't know, I, I think it would change it drastically, especially just the traffic aspect and cars going right by our entrance way. This could all lead up to a difficult decision for Camp Carefree. It depends on how what they do with that land. If they if they protect it, that would be nice. The lake is fed by a spring that's on the on the property that's in question. And that may be a problem for our lake that we might not have a lake. In Rockingham County, Elijah Skipper, Fox 8 News. The site's developer now has to present the application for the land's rezoning to county commissioners. We reached out to commissioners today who say this will likely happen in late August. We will keep you updated as things progress. Well, it is another